Austin and Los Angeles have been great cities for fans over the last two decades. Since 2000, the four teams from L.A. have won seven titles. And in Boston, of course, the Sox, the Patriots, the Bruins, and Celtics have each won at least one title, ten championships combined. Mike LaCrosse is at Fenway tonight where fans are ready for number 11. The excitement is building inside of Fenway and outside the park as well. One mom is already in line for tickets for tomorrow because she made a promise to her son five years ago. Gloves, hat, um, I have blankets in the car. Danielle Lawrence Taylor is prepared to sit outside Fenway Park overnight. She's first in line. Well, she is the line to get day of game tickets. The main mom promised her 15 year old son in 2013 they'd get inside the park next World Series. I love this game. I love the Red Sox. My son and I just have this really good bond and special special meaning around doing this tradition. Around Fenway tonight, we met a lot of mom and dads keeping promises to their kids. Erin Lynch said she'd buy William a do damage sweatshirt if the Sox made the series. All week he's been like three more games until I get my sweatshirt, two more games and here we are. But it's just, it's really magic. It's awesome. <laughs> The Red Sox rolled out the red carpet for the World Series Gala tonight. Old time baseball setting the stage for a once in a lifetime experience for father and son duo Anthony and Nicholas Rondazzo. Awesome. I never got to do it when I was a kid, but call him how lucky he is until you see it. It's awesome. Boston police are reminding fans to be careful where they buy their tickets for the series. The police will join Mayor Walsh tomorrow for a news conference on how they plan to keep the city safe over the next couple of days. Reporting from Fenway Park, I'm Mike the Cross, WBZ News.